N. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks, to the 4 p.m. market update, TGIF. The market is tuckered out. I just heard the bell. That means the close is here. We have the NDX down 0.67, Q's down 0.53%. The dollar finishing up modestly, but we're now down in that 102 uh, area. And it looks like it's comfortable there. GDX up 1.26%. Uh, SPY again down 0.62, Meta down. Tesla up modestly. STLD down, that we really took some profits on that. Honestly, some major volume though, at least for the day. Um, trying to get back up. They've been fighting for that. NVIDIA, of course, come off its top there from the 430 that it was this afternoon. And that's some heavy volume on the sale, but people are just trying to take profits and uh, that money's gonna come back in, I would say. Microsoft's down. Um, and then you have your ES, you have all your indices essentially down right now. Again, just a little bit tuckered out. Uh, well, there'll probably be some resumption um, next week, you know, just based on instinct with that. Um, you know, there was a lot of, I saw a lot of talk and some people were asking me in person, you know, why isn't Coinbase and Binance just really taking the downturn on it? Well, you know, I guess SEC um, lawsuits don't really matter when you have companies like BlackRock uh, who want to use you as a custodian. And BlackRock is filing uh, for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Get yourself some exposure into that if you don't want to buy Bitcoin itself. Uh, the firm filed an application with the uh, SEC uh, to launch iShares Bitcoin Trust. If approved, the ETF would allow easy access for investors. The shares are intended to constitute a simple means of making an investment similar to an investment in Bitcoin rather than by acquiring it, holding and trading Bitcoin directly on peer-to-peer -peer or other basis uh, or via a digital asset exchange. We know how these ETFs work. This is interesting considering, again, these lawsuits that just came out against these companies. Uh, the SEC has so far resisted allowing the launch of a spot Bitcoin ETF in the U.S., and the regulator is currently in a legal battle with Grayscale uh, over whether the firm will be allowed to convert its Grayscale Bitcoin trust into an ETF, a decision that in that case is expected later this year. So we will see. It seems, you know, it had been the uh, little quiet secret that a lot of the big institutional investors had crypto. Um, they definitely did. And uh, now we're seeing this kind of talk going on. So we'll see what comes out with that. Folks, thank you so much for being with me. It's Father's Day. Thank your fathers. Thank your father figures. Uh, be safe and we will see you Tuesday.